This is the first in a series of tutorials on how to install and run the ModLoader64 application. First you will go to the ModLoader64.com website and you will navigate to the setup page. The first thing you will have to do is download the two prerequisites that are located at the top of the page. Click on it and you will just need to run it. I already have it installed, however it's not a bad idea to click the repair button. After you are done repairing or installing, you must restart your computer. I've already done this many times, so I'm just going to click close for the tutorial's sake. Next you will need to install the node.json x86 libraries. After it's installed, open it up. I have a later version of it already installed, so I don't need to install it, however you may need to. The next thing you'll need to do is navigate to the modloader64 github. You will then need to click on the win.zip application. It will start downloading. Next, you will need to go to the OOT online.pack. It will bring you to the GitHub. Click on the .pack. It will start downloading. I already have both of them right here. So I'm going to open up the Modeler64 folder. And I'm going to start the GUI. It's going to run the emulator once and it's going to say no ROM, don't worry. After that, you will close this out and go back into the folder. And now you will see that you have a mod loader folder. Open it. After that, you will see you have a mods folder. Open that. Take your OOT online.pack and bring it into the folder. Go back to the mod loader folder open up the ROMs folder. Next take your legally obtained Ocarina of Time 1.0 ROM and place it in the ROMs folder. Next you will go back to the GUI and launch the GUI again. After that you will go to the games tab and you will check mark OOT. Next you will go to the mods tab and check the online mod. Next you will place in the name of your character that people will see. You will then put the lobby name. After that, you will click start. The first time you click start, it'll do that. That is normal. Now, for the controller, you will go up to the utility tab and you will click input config. I'm going to mute the audio. After that, you will go to controller 1. It will say plugged, keep it check marked. Device, I have an Xbox One controller. I will click my Xbox One controller. After that, I will put in all the necessary configuration for my Xbox One controller. Now, I should be good to go. If everything was done correctly, you will spawn in Link's house and you will see all of your friends or people that are playing with you. Alright, that is all. See ya.